real quick. I've been going to the top, yeah, real quick. Instant offense for Emmanuel quickly. Real quick. Real, 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 real. Hit it real quick. That's the art. There know. he is, yeah, four-year vet, art. Toronto Raptors point guard, <laughs> career highs in points and assists. Emmanuel quickly joins the show. This is awesome. IQ. Oh, no. I know when my season ended. <laughs> when my start. season ended, I was on a plane smoking straight to Cabo. Your season ended a couple weeks ago. Have you done anything cool? Did you go anywhere? Or are you just chilling? Uh, went to Jamaica. You literally just got back yesterday. Uh, probably go to my mom's school later today, go see her. Uh, but other than that, I've just been chilling. I like the and, Jamaica part. And we saw the video yesterday of your teammate, Scotty Barnes, <laughs> singing atrociously in Cancun. <laughs> you weren't there? You weren't part of that? It wasn't horrible. <laughs> it wasn't bad. Nah, it wasn't I, don't bad. Think, I don't think I got on stage yeah, with him. I'd act like I didn't know who that was. We speak this language well. That's Reposado right there. That's, that's Reposado <laughs> rapper right there. We speak that language well. Yeah, that's over. I mean, Maroon 5 for a karaoke song is a choice. Is that what he rolled with, Maroon 5? Yes, Maroon 5. <laughs> wow, good for him. It was a crowd him. favorite. They were all singing. Um, yeah. Okay, when you, I'm always curious about, you know, guys that play professionally. When your season ends, do you sit down and watch the playoffs and keep up and do the finals, or are you just kind of like, I'm going to I'm gonna clean slate it, be back mm -hmm. next season? Nah, I'm, I'm big. I'm a big basketball junkie, so uh, I'm somebody that just likes to watch basketball all day. Um, I even watch it sometimes with the volume off because you can, you know, understand <laughs> the game a little bit better. But uh, I like to just, you know, watch games all day, to be honest. Okay, I like that. I like that. All right, so, um, you know, Knicks fans were sad to see you go. You seemed sad to go. There was, like, this real love affair between you and the city and the fan base. But I wonder, you know, if a team trades you, do you find yourself, now they're up 2-1 against Philly, do you root for them? Do you root against them? How does that work? Uh, no, nah, I mean, you know, I still got a lot of, a lot of ties to that team, obviously. Um, I just talked to Johnny Bryant uh, last night, the assistant coach. So uh, still talked to a lot of those guys, still uh, group message with, with a lot of those guys. So, you know, I, I still, you know, uh, appreciate everything that organization did. But it was just, you know, business is business. And it was time to, you know, move on to the next phase. Well, then, so you would agree that the Embiid foul on Mitchell Robinson was dirty? <laughs> Hey, man, I ain't trying to get fined. I don't know if I still can. I just, <laughs> but uh, if, that was, if that was anybody else, I don't know if you get the same call. Mm. I said the same thing, IQ. I said, mm -hmm. you know what? It wasn't clean. <laughs> yeah, it just, it, I don't want to say the D word, but it wasn't clean. <laughs> the D. <laughs> Quick, you were, uh, you were traded mid-season. The Raptors gave you an opportunity, a fresh start, and, and I can relate. Once I went to Toronto, it feels like you're in another country. It feels like you're having a different experience than other NBA players, and it, and it resets you. Were you excited about that trade? Uh, were you a little disappointed, or, or were you happy that you got an opportunity to start, got the opportunity to do your thing, and you put up career numbers? How, how did you feel about the midseason trade? Well, I couldn't feel anything because I was asleep at first <laughs> when, they, there it when is. I first got traded. But honestly, you know, any change is, is different, it's new. At first, I really didn't know what to think of it, but Honestly, you know, change is good for you. You know, opportunity is good for you. And uh, I'm so glad that it, it happened. It was probably the best thing for my career as far as just trying to take next steps and, and trying to be a, a great basketball player and also a, a developing person. So I think it was good for me in all aspects. Wait, so you're literally sleeping. You wake up to what? <laughs> texts, calls, everything? What? <laughs> I wake up to. Charles, Charles, Charles tells you. <laughs> I, no, I didn't wake up to that one. I wake up to my agent call me in all caps with an exclamation, a whole bunch of exclamation points. And you, when you wake up, you, he said, actually, he said, call me. You're getting traded. Boom. There you I go. wake up to that. First thing I wake up to. That's funny. That's like the way I was find out. The last time I got traded, the last time I got traded, my GM told me, you're good. You can go to sleep. You can take your pregame nap. We'll see you later. Mm. My agent called me five minutes later, said, hey, stay by your phone. Something is happening. I don't trust him. And I got oh. traded and I got traded at 2.45 wow. before the 3 o'clock game. What was his name? Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? <laughs> He's trying to get everybody in. We made a right deal. Now. You don't mention me. I don't mention you. It's all good. <laughs> but I'm out of here. That's, yeah, that's the deal me and him made. What a shady, shady game. Um, afterwards, I, Pat Bev was asked if Toronto got any dogs in the trade, and he referred to y'all as pups. You put those away for later? 
I actually uh, put uh, put it on my Instagram cache and I said, quickly, potential dog. I think that's one of the funniest interviews I've ever seen. <laughs> the way he said, the way he said Pumps was literally like a baby little dog type. <laughs> it was really funny. So uh, me and RJ, we always joke about that one. Pups are awesome. I don't even think that's yeah, bad. Yeah, Pat, Pat's one. He's one of those people, bro. He's gonna troll, troll, troll. But once you get to know him, once you're teammates with him, you wouldn't have it any other yeah, way. Don't take that zero. Speak, speaking of teammates, I wanted to ask you: Did it make the Did it make the trade easier that RJ Barrett went with you and he's from Toronto? Did he Did he show you around? What was that What was that like? It was great. You know, just to have somebody that was from the city. Uh, RJ is. He's a legend in Toronto uh, before he even, you know, put on a Raptor jersey. So it was pretty cool to, to see that as well. Um, and as soon as I got traded, I, I looked outside my uh, looked outside my hotel room because we were still in India and RJ just like this. He couldn't wait to get to <laughs> Toronto. Uh, so um, he was excited to go back home, obviously, being from Mississauga, seeing all his family. So it was good. What was what's what's the biggest difference between playing in Toronto and playing in New York City? Uh Biggest difference I'd probably say is um, obviously I think there's a lot of similarities. Both fan bases are incredible. Um, I hey. think the biggest difference though is just being in another country. Um, Toronto's a vibe, though. Cut. Toronto's awesome. Toronto's a Toronto's vibe. nice. Yeah, Toronto's, Toronto's nice. Toronto's it's underrated. Vibe. Yeah. I think one of the biggest differences is driving. To be honest, people cut you off in New York. Oh yeah. Lick you up, lick your middle finger up. <laughs> it's team, a little bit more peaceful Toronto, in Toronto. They let you go by They're much everything. nicer. Yeah. A Especially, <laughs> listen, if you're a Raptor, they roll the red carpet out really? for you everywhere. Yeah. How quickly like after the trade did Drake DM you? In, immediately. Bro, Drake still ain't follow me, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, no Bro, way. He sucks. My God. I like Drake. But Come on, Shane. Hey. Get you that ball up. <laughs> IQ, your uh, your former coach, the Knicks, Tom Thibodeau, was voted mm. as the coach least wanted to play for. And what's funny is, we, me and Lou, <laughs> before we saw the list, we they got our vote, and we picked Tibbs just because we're lazy, retired old guys that don't like getting taped for shoot around and don't want to play 42 <laughs> minutes. When I was young, I would probably want to do that. Two questions for you: Why is is it is it tough playing for a guy like him because of those things? Because the practices suck and training camps are two a days. And did you vote <laughs> in this poll? <laughs> I did not vote in this poll, man. I didn't even know what was going on. Um, nah, Tibbs is a great guy, man. He he was he was great to play for. Uh, the practice part, I understand why guys just don't like practicing. I'm not one of those guys, but um, if you don't like practice, he's not for you because we gonna practice. Oh, I've had. Game days where we practice, like literally shoot around was like basically like a practice in the morning. So it's a little different. Like there's contact when you're going through the scouting report. It's full blown contact taped, like full blown practice on game day at 10 a.m. No. Uh, nah, it was more like uh, he'll just make you start over and do some full speed like five, ten times on a shoot around, and we're all looking around yeah. like, come on, bro, again? And yeah, that ain't just it. keep going, keep going. Yeah, he gonna find me in a locker room. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna That's, find, he's yeah, gonna yeah, find he, me. Guys, your fine, cardio yeah. would be so good. Mm. Yeah, it's so all fine. Yeah, you used to be prepared yeah. for the game, though. You gonna See? be prepared for the game messing with Tish, because yeah. he gonna have you. You ain't gonna back down for nothing. I kind of love it. I mean, I probably hate it, but I kind of love it. Just well, hearing about well, it makes me happy. It's all fun and games till you so get you hurt. So you have to do it. And then, then, yeah, you get you're hurt. right. Um, so you're going to be a restricted free agent over the summer, and your team right now has an opportunity to match. Hey, him. Whatever goes on out there. What's your mindset? Like, are you good with staying in Toronto? You, you want to see what's available? Um, obviously, like I said earlier, business is, is always business. But, you know, I love Toronto. I love being in Toronto since the day I got there. I say it all the time. They've done nothing but show me love, so... Um, you know, Toronto is, is, is obviously, you know, if I could be there, that's where I want to be. But obviously, like, business is business, so my agent and stuff have to handle all that. IQ, the way you play basketball, the way you can fit in any offense, get your money. Because any team would be <laughs> lucky banks to everywhere. have you. Hey, listen, it's banks everywhere. There's a short window. <laughs> There's a short everywhere. window that we get, get paid, cheese, bro. Banks everywhere. Get it's your everywhere. bread. Get your cheese. <laughs> banks, every, banks everywhere. Look, last year you put, up a, you put up a 40 at MSG last year, and you know at any level you get an opportunity to get a 40 ball. 40 ball is a 40. But you and I know it scores. When you got to, when you're trying to get that forty and your last two shots are free throws, how nerve wrecking is that? <laughs> Bruh, oh my god! And Tim's trying to take me out. I'm looking like Tim. Fine, what do you mean? Oh, now he wants to take <laughs> you out. <laughs> <laughs> now he... I played forty eight minutes in the other game. No, but um, 
Those free throws, I, told, I said in the interview, those free throws were probably like the most nervous. Free, I don't know why. It was like the most nervous free throws of my life. I just like remember every workout I did throughout my whole life, like my whole I put life. real pressure on yourself. Back yeah. Me. Yeah, it was, I, I made them, but I was like, dang, thank God I made them. <laughs> like Joel was <laughs> like, night, he had to make both to get 50. That's the most yeah. nerve wracking. That's got to be nerve By the way, IQ, I got to ask too. I saw it. You, you like to draw that contact on the on the, on your ice so it gets to free the line. Did you have, did you watch a little Lou Will in your day to, right. to, to get that in your bag? One of the first games that the, Lou Will told him he was one of my favorite players, bro. Lou, you one of the coldest players that ever <laughs> touch a ball, bro. But Appreciate look, that. when I dabbed you up and did that video, bro, the, the Knicks fans didn't want me to start. They wanted me to be six man forever. I'm like, uh, dang, yeah. I ain't going to nah, Way to get out of there. Career. Yeah, way to get out of there and get right. Because listen, I, went, I didn't escape it. I didn't get out. <laughs> I didn't get out. <laughs> nah. It, it was all good, man. I I had a great time in, in New York, and I, I love playing there. So it, it was it was great. Um, your big video game, dude. Are you guys gamers? I mm. I've never heard you talk about it. Mm -hmm. Are we too old? We're too old. Oh, I, just never, I just James never. James Bond Goldeneye was the last video game. James Bond. Okay. Yeah. Nintendo 64. Okay, but your Twitch it literally yeah. says that you're a video gamer, a professional <laughs> video gamer, and you hoop. Uh, so what are the games? I'm big on 2K and uh, big on Call of Duty. And are mm. you good with your rating on 2K? It looks like you have a 54 strength rating. Uh, I would imagine we don't love that, or we do. <laughs> Can't love that. But the 54. overall rating is Can't 83. Can't do 10 push-ups with 54 <laughs> strength. Kevin Durant couldn't bench 185 <laughs> in the combine. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Wait, call it, what, you guys, none, none of that? No, We're, I mean, we, we know the games, I'm well, sure. I, know, like, I know, like, FIFA too. and Call of Duty, I know it, but I just not. I, I have an NBA Jam machine at my house. Yeah, like, count? I'm into yeah, that, like, arcade. Golden Tee back in the yeah, day. Yeah, I know what Golden Tee But we're old. Yeah. It's, it's still, um, it takes quarters still? Yeah, I'm done with exactly. you. IQ, this has been awesome. I know you were missed in New York. I hope your summer plans are just amazing and whatever happens is the best. So we, we appreciate the time. Congrats, bro, on everything. Yeah. Congrats. Good luck get, this summer, bro. Get your money get your real money. quick. Appreciate y'all. Yes, Thank you. Appreciate we'll y'all. <laughs> Absolutely. Run it back, y'all. Run it up. Run it back,